Hey guys, this is the Part-Time Economist, and today I'm showing you how to change the bearings on your rollerblade wheels. Now, whenever you buy wheels, they are not going to have the bearings inside them for the most part. So you're either going to have to reuse your old bearings or you're going to have to buy bearings pre-installed. Reusing your old bearings is a lot cheaper, so let me show you how to do it. So changing the bearings on your rollerblade wheels is actually a lot easier than it sounds. What you want to do is you want to put a flathead screwdriver into the the bearing and you want to pull up on it. So let me show you here. And you can see that that bearing just pops right out. Now, this is going to be on one side and then we have the spacer and again, anytime I'm doing any kind of disassembly, whether it's on a car, a bike, whatever, I like to put things in the order that they came out. So I have this, I know it's going to be on that side. This is going to be in the middle, and then this one is going to be on the other edge. So let me pop that one out also. So now we have each side and we have the spacer in the middle. Again, keep everything simple, keep it on the same side so you know where it is. Now, moving on to the other wheel. Now I would, I would wipe these down with some kind of a cloth or something because you can see how they're starting to get like a lot of grease and debris and stuff on that. So. Wipe them down, but just for the video, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Pop that new bearing in there, and again, it just goes in with finger pressure. It's not super hard, super crazy, anything like that. Now you're going to put this little spacer in the center. And the thing about the spacer, you want to make sure that you keep it centered because it can flip, it can kind of turn over sideways like that, and if you put it in, you're never going to get this thing back on the skates. So make sure that he's standing straight up. And then you're going to put this other bearing on top. And again, it's just a nice, even, you're going to push straight down. If you wanted to, to keep this guy from flipping over, you could put something like an Allen wrench through it just so that he can't fall over while you're pressing down. Right? And then you see that we have both bearings in, we have the spacer, and then our, our spacer is not tipped over. It can go perfectly back onto an axle. Then you just put it back on the roller skate just like you would the wheel that I showed you in the previous video. This is a part-time economist. I hope the video has been useful and I'll see you next time.